Counting the loss. The reality of scores of people affected by the recent flooding in parts of Accra. As the National Disaster Management Organization comes to the rescue, government believes more work needs to be done. Deputy Works and Housing Minister Dr. Prince Amai is today delivering a marching order to the Hydrological Authority with a week's ultimatum to deal with the situation. The cost of dealing with the aftermath of flooding is so expensive <coughs> that it is better for us to take proactive measures in averting that than to react to the consequence of, of flooding. And that's why your institution um, is set up to help in, uh, in delivering that. Uh, the little rains that we have experienced today, uh, there are so many areas that we understand that are experiencing flooding. We don't have to wait. We have to act proactively. So my instruction is that within the next one week, we, 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 we need to advise the ministry the specific interventions in which areas. Going by the ministry's order, the interventions would include a crowd's biggest storm drain the Odor Basin, which is now clogged with filth, especially plastic waste. Already, officials working on this Odor Basin through the World Bank-funded Greater Accra Resilient and Integrated Development Project, Garrett, say they have commenced a behavioral change campaign as part of a broader flood mitigation plan. And we've been able to evacuate with assemblies uh, something in the region of 4,500 uh, cubic uh, tons of waste that people are otherwise dumped. And if this had not been cleared, the incidences of flooding we are seeing would have been worse than that thing. Part of the reason we experience the flooding is the people's bad behavior. Building in waterways, building in buffers, building in floodplains, dumping waste indiscriminately. So um, we have a behavior change campaign that is going on that we are rolling out, trying to inform people. So we started community by... But the recent flooding is also bringing to the fore again questions about the effectiveness of a $350 million funding received from the World Bank to mitigate the impact of the floods. As the NDC minority in Parliament argues that only minimal work has been done. A claim Dr. Prince Amma denies and categorically. In respect of the um, I'm sure that the, the minister had, had responded in parliament that every single uh, expenditure on the Garrett project uh, you know, has been accounted for and all documentations have been made available to our colleagues in parliament. And so uh, I'm not sure that that matter is still uh, prevailing given the, the fact that they have been properly briefed on all of that. Um, visitation, you know that the project is a very comprehensive project. Um, and it requires a lot of processes, especially in, in contractual um, arrangement. If we have worked with the World Bank, you would understand and appreciate how their processes are. They are very, very stringent. So sometimes the process could take uh, a while. But the key thing is to assure the people of Ghana that every penny that has been approved for this project will be utilized in the manner that was, uh, uh, was approved for. <laughs>